morning, church family. Come on, would you stand all across this place? Come on, let's get excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Man, we believe God is doing something in this place. Man, I know God's been answering some crazy prayers of mine this week. Man, we believe that God is on the move. Seriously, like, if you don't believe in prayer, come on, I just ask you to step out in faith a little bit. Start to pray for some crazy things, and you might be shocked at what God does in your life, in our country, in your circumstances. Come on, God is on the move. So we're going to go before him and worship. We're going to give him all the praise that he deserves, not just because he needs our praise, but when we worship him, something changed inside of us because we realize, man, that God is way bigger than us. It's not just about me and my life. There's a kingdom of heaven taking place. Come on, there's exciting things happening. Would you sing this out with me in faith? God, we worship you. We put you first today. We give you everything we have as we sing this morning. Come, let us worship our King. Come, let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. See what our Savior has done. See how His love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. See? Oh, hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You free every captive and break every chain. Oh, God, you have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awaken alive. Oh, Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high. Oh, God, you have done great things. Come on, let's celebrate been faithful. You've been faithful through every storm. You'll be faithful forevermore. You have done great things. And I know, come on, and I know you will do it again. For your promise is yes and amen. You have done great things. Oh God, you do great Unshakable and hallelujah, you have done great things. We sing it again. Hallelujah, God, above it all. And hallelujah, God, unshakable and hallelujah, you have done great things. You've done great things. Come on, one more time we sing.
are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. See it again. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of. Father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. Just take a moment in his presence. Come on, don't let these moments pass you by. It's a moment to communicate with the King of Kings. This is what your everyday life can feel like, living a life of worship, just living a life of relationship, community with God. It's who I am. the ability to live in an abundance, to meet with the Lord every morning, no matter how you feel, no matter what your circumstances say. Man, I just wasn't going to share this, but I said earlier, the Lord's been answering some prayers for me this week. And uh, I've been traveling a lot and singing a ton, and my voice has been in a ton of pain. And I was really, really, really afraid that I had some like nodules on my vocal folds. Um, or that I had to like take three or four week vocal rest or get surgery and all this stuff. And there's like a lot of pain and I did not know what to do. And so I was like, well, I'm going to go get scoped. So they took a camera with a little tube and put it all the way up my nose and down. It's kind of like a, kind of like a COVID test. And, uh, they, they checked it out and praise God. There's no issues, man. I had <laughs> intercessors praying and I was believing and just saying, God, whatever happens in this situation, I trust you. And I got to a point of just saying like, you know what, I'm kind of excited to find out what's going to happen because I believe God is in control and whatever this looks like, I'm going to trust him anyways. I trust him with the results and no matter what happens, I'm going to trust him with the next step. And so I just believe that's a word for somebody, just a powerful word for somebody in this place that maybe to someone, it just sounds like a normal life circumstance, but to somebody else, you're desperate and you're saying, God, I... I don't even know how to be excited. I don't know how to trust you with this situation because I feel hopeless. I don't know what the doctor's going to say. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills next month. I don't know what to do in this marriage, whatever that looks like. Can you just begin to sing this song in faith that he's a good father and he's watching over the sparrows and how much more does he care about you? Come on, just let the worries of your life leave for a moment and just sing. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. trust you this morning, Lord. God, we put our trust in you. Just like I opened this time saying, God, that worship's not about us. 
it's about you, but it's not only for you, God. It's for us in the way that when we open our mouths and we proclaim these truths and our trust in you, it changes us from the inside out. So, God, I just pray that you're, I just know and I ask and I pray and I declare that you're stringing something together Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. God, there's a life change happening. In Jesus' name, God, we trust you and we're so thankful for who you are. Never cease to amaze us, God. Thank you for your revelation through your word this morning. In Jesus' name, everyone said together, amen. Love you guys. See you later.